Right, so today we're going to strip the eggs off the females. Uh, they're all well buried up and last night we saw a few babies that were leaving their mums. So we're going to strip them out, put them into a tank and uh, then relocate the mums and uh, we'll go from there. Right, and oxygen off first and we'll empty the tanks. Or Toon will. I've got to do the recording, haven't I? Now there could be a few baby crayfish attached to these, so we just put them in another tank and then any that are on there won't go crispy. The reason we've been putting them in these separate tanks is when the crayfish are very, very young, uh, the parent or full grown crayfish will eat the babies. So that's why we put the buried up girls in here. And once they start to hatch, then uh, get rid of the mums so they don't eat their own kids. That's never good. Grow on the babies a little bit and then we'll put them in the big tank in front of the tomb around there. And then once they're big enough, they get transferred into the big grow out pond. They're not wiggling, are they? Maybe leave her for a little bit, you think? Bail out. Mm. Right, so she's jettisoned her eggs already. So there should be quite a few babies in here.
Right, that's all mum stripped apart from one that's in the, the blue tank. They'd only just started to hatch on there. Whereas the ones that we put into the red tank, they were all alive and kicking and wriggling around and some had already left the parents. So Toon just stripped those off and uh, put the mums back in here. These are going to be relocated. Uh, we're also going to sort out these tanks here and uh, grow them on. Once they're a little bit bigger, like I say, they're going to get put into this pond and then they'll be gradually moving their way out onto the farm where we've got the big grow out pond. So the main reason we're doing this, the parents will actually eat baby crayfish once they leave the mums. And also uh, juvenile crayfish will eat other juvenile crayfish, certainly when they're molting or shedding their exoskeletons. This way you're just maximising the amount of crayfish that are going to make it. They hide in the algae, you know, when you move. Hmm. When you move algae, you can see them. I need to get that big one out. That, uh, that's why they're gonna eat them. The tune's just managed to snare oh a big one. Now, I'm not sure whether that's actually hatched in here or whether we transferred it as an egg when we took the parents out of the bigger pond. So uh, this one can go straight in the tank with the other bigger babies. And, uh, that's a nice little size, isn't it? Ooh, big now, look. How about? It's not easy to really have an idea how many baby crayfish we've got in this big tank because you let all the algae grow on the bottom of the tank and they just burrow straight into it. So yeah, night time you can see hundreds. Has it gone already? <laughs> but they certainly grow fast. They love the algae. I think we'll try and catch a few babies and put them into a glass so we can record what it looks like from the outside. Give you an idea what these, these amazing little crustaceans look like. We've got a little container, we've put some rainwater in, all these little tanks here, they're all filled up with rainwater and get topped up regularly. Grow the crayfish in the tank. Hey, what is wrong, my? Me, hey, our crayfish. See that? Open your eye and look in it. Um, crayfish. See it? Yeah. Dun 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 dun. Thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for the next update of the crayfish.